Hi parents, Deacon John Wilson here, Education Enrichment Director of West Sanders Church to share some special information from you, uh, to, with you. Uh, I'm going a little freestyle, but I think I can get this in in a few minutes. So I want you aware of what's happening. There's an article over here you can see uh, in Ed Source, which is a respected state journal that covers the education systems of the state of California. I'm really concerned, in fact, I'm upset about some new racism that I see. I'll get to that in a minute. But the California math curriculum spurs a new controversy about accelerated learning, as you can see from this article here. And the controversy is that they're gonna change the way we've taught math for 2000 years, in my opinion. And it's an affront to all of black civilization and black history, in my opinion. We, the people who did the mathematics behind the pyramids, as, it, as the Nile flowed north, the knowledge flowed north to the Egyptian culture. You can see the pyramids getting more and more succinct mathematically and in astronomy and science and laid out in a particular way. And even Europeans came over and took the basics of that and developed the math as we know it today. And you're telling me that our kids cannot learn math Shame on the state education board. Shame on them all. We've gone too far with this woke stuff. We are damaging children. We are assuming all black children are the same. And there's only one word for that and it's called racism. What, am I, what is Deacon Wilson all fired up about? This article right here, you can look it up on the Ed Source. And you can see that there's a math problem in California. We all agree that Black and Latinos are under, underrepresented in rigorous math programs. The only solution to me is to work on, work with the community and work with people that know how to do this or do something to improve your instruction of Black students. And a lot of it is working on Black families and all that too. But I'm telling you that because you see this problem doesn't mean you go, we have to slow everybody else down. What about the black students that can learn math, that know math, that can grow? I, I work with them all the time. My people work with them all the time in our program. You let us down. And as I suspect, I'm telling you parents, I'm telling you the fear of today, the Jim Crow fear today is these progressive white people that know what's best for your child. Well, I'm not gonna take it as your education enrichment director, I'm coming off that plantation. I'm gonna fight and make sure that this law is exposed. These framework for math is exposed. Let's go on and look at it a little bit. What this is all about is elements of critical race theory and so-called educational equity, not equality. I, all of us are for equality. You think that they must think we're stupid or something. Of course, we're all for equality. We want equality of opportunity. We realize we won't have the outcome equality, but don't try to say, well, since we're not getting the quality on the outcomes, that it's racism, that's somehow inherent in the system that, of math and the way we teach math for 2000 years is racist. That's wrong. When you read through this article, you're gonna see that they had a two month period. Did they come and talk to parents about it? No. Did they have meetings in the community? No they made this major change because these white folks in Sacramento and maybe some elite blacks, I don't know. They feel they know what's best for your child. They know your child can never take advanced math, can't take pre-calculus, isn't smart enough. And so they're dumbing down their everybody so to take care of these few. They're saying that we're not gonna have advanced math anymore. No more honors math, no more AP math, no more opportunities in the upper mass. And by the way, at a time where CSU and UC is saying they want students to have more math. I don't understand this. I'm gonna be really looking for some clarification on it. But it looks like when we read this, I'll read the most important part to you here in a minute. I'm concerned about proposals for the elimination of advanced math classes in the middle school years. So what they're saying is 
everybody's going to start algebra in ninth grade. Just figure it out. If you start algebra in ninth grade, most students won't make it to any kind of advanced math. And we wonder why our students don't get to get don't get to won't get to take STEM and get the high paying jobs and great degrees. It's because they're being held back by the assumption that everybody has to start at the same place. What, what about, do you think you're stopping or holding back white kids only? White kids just going on to expensive private schools. That's how we get to divide. Or they go to their west side schools and teach it the way they want. Whereas our schools on, in the inner city are held back. Inner city Long Beach, inner city LA. They're trying to hold kids back and it's not right. I don't understand it. The framework does not require districts to eliminate honors math programs, nor does the direct schools to hold back students from rigorous math courses. Districts that choose to remove accelerated courses could still offer other advanced courses required for STEM pathways for juniors and seniors. But if the juniors and seniors get there and have only had geometry, it's, it doesn't take a genius to understand you're gonna have fewer that will have the opportunity to take advanced math. Parents, I encourage you to look up this article. I'll send it to you if you, if you get a hold of me. But we've got to stand against that. This is, this is terrible. Uh, it, 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 it's part of this whole thing where we got to, we, in equity, where we've got to hold back what we call, what we think are like white students because they're the oppressors and they're the racists. And that holding back is holding back black and Hispanic students that can make it. I'm not seeing in my business one minority student that can't get better in their math with the right help. But do we want to do the hard work and get the help? Do we want to reach out to community-based organizations? No, not at all. Now listen to what the article says. While not explicitly mentioning critical race theory, the framework points to research that supports teaching math through a social justice lens. It also suggests that using real world examples to make math lessons more relevant to students' lived experiences. There's no problem with having culturally relevant math, but then it calls out how race, class, and gender play a role in the messages students receive. That's just not right. It's not true. Math is math. Two plus two is four. Stop this stuff of saying that you can teach math any other way. And that's okay to not teach it that way. It calls out how race, class, and gender play a role in messages students receive about their place in math class. Come on. Race and ethnicity have nothing to do. Gender, certainly not gender, I don't know how that got in there, has nothing to do with students' ability to learn math. Unless you assume, it's just they're assuming for us that because our students have black and brown skin, they're not as smart as white students. That's why I'm saying that's a new racism, parents. It's not the old conservative KKK person you're thinking it is. It's these progressive whites that are deciding for you in the back rooms what your child can and cannot do. I'm gonna need your help, parents. We gotta provide pressure. I'm gonna to put together a letter and a petition campaign. I'm working with my webmaster on it right now. I need you when you get that email to, to sound off about this. We need to stand against this. I mean, think about it. Those of you that have students in eighth and seventh grade, you're taking you know, algebra early. What if you get up there and those classes aren't available? I just think it's, it's a real big problem to bring race and politics into the schools. It's a real problem for our students. So, okay, parents, I'll be in touch with you really soon. Again, it's this framework for math. Why don't you Google it, look it up. I'll send an email that gives you some stuff to read on it. But I wanted you to know right off the bat what my feeling about it was. And we are totally an education research program, totally and utterly opposed to it. And we'll have a lot to say when we teach our math classes this summer. We're not teaching that kind of crap. We want to teach the students the right way to learn about math so they could compete in society, which is still merit-based the last time I checked. I don't want to come out of a system where they're not in a merit-based system now trying to go to college and compete. 
that is not going to work out for our students or so or for so very few that are wealthy enough to do it on their own and go to private school. But what about the normal working class parents who have to use our public schools? I'll have a lot more to say about this and about critical race theory in a coming email very soon. Thank you very much. God bless you.